going to start our literacy lesson. And all week we've been studying what book? Raise your hand if you know. Silas. What book have we been studying this week about? Do you remember? The hippo. Yeah, it was about the hippo book. How uh, the Potamus, right? This is a story. What was this when we were reading this? What is this a kind of a story about? Mason. About the hippo. Yes, it's about the hippo. Yeah, yes. Was it about being friends? Yep. yep. Yeah. So it's about him hugging all his friends, huh? So Hogopotamus. So who were the characters in the story? Ethan. The characters was the hippopotamus. Yes, the hippopotamus is one character. No. What is hippopotamus? Albert was one of the characters. Name another character, Mason. The lion. The lion was another character. Harold, what is another character? The giraffe. The giraffe. You mean zebra? Yeah, the zebra, Jasmine. She was another character. Okay, and Hunter, what was another character? The monkey. The monkey, yes. So he was another character in the story. All right, we are going to listen to this short little video about how to find the main idea. I had a person there. The main idea of the story. Okay, so shh. How did the story begin? Second, who were the characters? Third, what happened? Fourth, what happened next? And five, how did the story end? Now let's so there's five things, five things that we need to know to find out the main idea. Hare was the fastest animal in the forest. He was very proud of his speed, and he loved to show off. He'd rush up behind the other animals and scare them. But most of all, Hare likes to make fun of Tortoise. Let's take a break and think about what we know so far. We know that the story takes place in the forest, and that Hare and Tortoise are the main characters. Okay, so what do we know so far about this story, Ethan? That it left in the forest. In the forest. And who are the characters, Mason? Um, uh, the bunny. The bunny and the tortoise. Okay, raise your hand. Yes, tortoise. So who are the main characters in this? We kind of already covered that. But where is this taking place at? Ooh. This is taking place in the forest. In the jungle. In the jungle. Yeah, it kind of looks like the jungle, right? We're going to assume that it's jungle because there's a lot of jungle animals, right? Okay. Now let's get back to the story. Bye. You are so slow, Hare would laugh, teasing Tortoise. One day, Tortoise replied, I'm not as slow as you think. Let's have a race. Just for fun, Hare accepted Tortoise's brave but silly challenge. When the race began, Hare dashed off out of sight. Let's take a break and think about what we know so far. We know that the characters are in the forest, and that Hare and Tortoise are having a race, and that Hare ran off really fast. Next, Hare lay down in the comfortable shade to wait for Tortoise to cross the finish line. Soon, Hare was fast asleep. Slowly but surely, Tortoise plodded along, one slow step after another. Eventually, Tortoise passed Hare, who was still snoring away. He was shocked to see Tortoise about to reach the finish line. And Tortoise won! Thank you, my friends, Tortoise said. Now that we've finished reviewing the story. Let's go back and think about the five strategies that they okay, used. Okay, so we're going to talk about five strategies that they used. How did the story begin? 
How did it begin? Story the characters. Story the characters. What happened? What happened? What happened next? What happened next? And how did the story end? And how did the story end? Let's think about it. So we're going to take those strategies and figure out what the main, okay, what the main idea is in this story. So we are going to go to our whiteboard. So our story is Pickle Pond's Hug. find the main idea? What were some of the strategies that we can figure out? Yes. Um, uh, the turtle was found with Yeah, so the, figure out who are the characters, right? So characters. What is another way uh, we can figure out the main idea? Whoop. Yes. What's another way? Be like this. Okay, but What's another way we can find out about the main idea in this story? We already have characters. So events, like things that happen, like certain events. What about the setting? We were just talking about that the setting was in the jungle, right? So we can say setting and the events. So those are some ways that we can, yeah, figure out the main idea. Yes, Mason. Um, uh, and then the game card we can um, uh, them up. Yeah, so uh, figuring out what happened next and the ending of the story, the solution. Ending of story. All right. Good. So we are. Does someone? Yes, Silas. Um, you peeled us off. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we are going to go to the read aloud, and then I'm going to stop, and then we're going to ask. I'm going to ask some questions. Like a speed That's the real white book. It is. Homer was his parents' pride and joy. When he smiled for the first time. His mother jumped up and down with delight. Look at our baby, she cried out. Isn't he wonderful? Whether Albert was taking his first steps, or learning his ABCs, or even when he was doing nothing at all, they couldn't help but hug their one and only hippo. Why do you hug me all the time? Albert asked. Because we love you so much, his father replied. You're our little hug hugopotamus, his mother added. Albert smiled. A hug shows that you care about someone, he thought as he went out to play. Okay, so why did Albert like to give hugs so much? Okay, did you raise your hand? So we need to be raising our hands. I called on Easton, so Easton should be the only one talking right now. Yes, his parents called him Hugopotamus, and then what did his parents do to? They hugged him all the time, didn't they? So he was thinking that that's how you show affection or that you like somebody. So then he decided to go out and go find his friends. So let's see what happens. Waddling through the dense jungle, Albert spotted Benny. Why he had to toot up behind his friends and gave him a super strong hippo hug. Super strong hippo hug. Did you hear two of our vocabulary words? Yeah. Hippo, yeah. what did he do? He waddled over to his friend and he spotted his friend. What was the lion's name? Benny. He spotted Benny. Meow, Benny roared. What are you doing? Hugging you, Albert replied. Don't you like hugs? Not when they're so strong, Benny said. I'm playing hide and seek, and you gave away my hiding place. I'm sorry, Albert said. 
can I play with you? No, Ben said as he slid back into the bushes. Albert spotted Jasmine jumping rope by a water. Spotted Jasmine. He ran up and gave her a squeeze. Ouch, Jasmine said. What are you doing? Hugging you, Albert replied. Don't you like hugs? Not now, Jasmine said. I wasn't ready. Just look at me. I'm sorry, Albert said. Can I play with you? No, said Jasmine as she untangled herself. Albert plodded over to the savannah. Badge was just about to score a goal. I love you, little monkey, Albert shouted. I know, but you haven't 
said anything. So what does delight mean? Being kind. Being kind. Delight means you're happy, full of joy. So I want you to turn and talk to your partner about a time when you guys were delighted, all right? Teach. Okay. partners 
and I want you to tell your partner who you love to hug. Ready? Teach. Okay. Yeah. That would be the book. 